Hello. Before, you know the haircut I turned down yesterday? We're gonna get it today. Uh, so, we are now on our way. And, so, I'll just wait and show you the after shot. <laughs> Are you ready for the shock? <laughs> I did have him cut it very short because it grows and it's summer and it gets hot. <laughs> okay, now that you're shocked, take a breath. Take a few deep breaths. <laughs> surprise, surprise! How did you like that switch there from the way it was to the way it is? Oh, anyway, yes, I did intend to get it cut very short because it's going to be a long summer. <laughs> anyway, within a couple of weeks, it'll get this chopped look out of there. How's your Memorial Day weekend going? This is AKA GK Freeland. Call me Glenda, please. <laughs> Everybody's having a nice Memorial Weekend um, so far. It's just begun. This is actually the 26th, and it's normally the set of this date that was originally set aside is the 30th. But since it ends up being a whole weekend of some people are picnicking, camping, celebrating. But we should remember that it's originally meant as a way to honor our veterans who have died. Today is, um, so we just honor, it's gone, it's changed a lot over the years and it's gone from honoring veterans which uh, who who have died which it still does there's a, a whole um whole unit designated to just going around and putting flags on this uh graves of veterans and that's so important and you go to the cemetery to place your flowers and wreaths and and stuff for your own loved ones and that have gone and you see sometimes just a sea of, of American flags and you have such a reminder of what it has meant for this country to be what it is because it's taken a lot of blood to make this country what it is. And we're not the only country that could claim that, my Lord, every country on earth especially every free country who's had to fight for their own freedom and who have helped fight for the freedom of others. So I have had a day. I tell you, I, I think part of my problem here is I'm just... it. When I have to go places like when I went to get the haircut, that's why a lot of times I prefer, I do prefer to have someone come to the house. It's just... You know, the one that I, you know, go to now, it's like you got to go up like five steps just to get up to the, you know, ground level that they're on. It's one of those like higher bank type things. And then it's a ways, you know, to t walk up to the building. And it, there was a time when I would have run that and never, never batted an eye. But why not today? I had to have Joe give me an arm when I, we were on our way back to the car because I just was so 
out of breath. And not only that, my back was hurting. But I was talking to the barber, or the guy who cut my hair. <laughs> and uh, he just recently quit smoking. Because he'd been having a lot of, of, he'd been waking up at night coughing a lot. And um, he's, he, just, he said he just felt like, I'm going to die if I don't quit smoking. But, so he, he did, he quit smoking. But he was talking about, and we discussed that he still feels those triggers. Heck, I feel those triggers sometimes. It's never easy, but it's worth it. So I didn't give it up until they thought I had lung cancer and I was coughing up blood. Anyway, so that, that kind of took a part of my day. And um, then I just, well, we came home. Joe fixed us. Fabulous taco. Well, he fixed tacos, but I always eat it in a bowl, like more like a taco salad because it's harder for me to. I, I mean, yeah, my hands work fine, but they shake a lot, and so I tend to dribble things down my front. <laughs> so, and anyway, so. He fixed his mind in a bowl, and I told him, I said, you know what, the thing is, I, you know, I love eating it that way, because it's just, I can mix everything up really good and get all the sour cream and stuff down in the, er, everything, get the lettuce starter to wilt a little. But wow, it's just, a bowl, you put a tortilla in a bowl, and then you start glopping stuff, <laughs> glopping, start you know, putting stuff in there, and oh, well, I do it when I fix my own bowl too. But it's like you get this big bowl that's half full. Well, big a cereal bowl, you know, big big cereal bowl or soup bowl, half full of taco fillings, and it's probably twice as much as you'd put in one taco. So, <laughs> oh. Well, one soft shell taco, one of those big tortillas that you know. So it got me really full, and um, and after all the activity today and stuff, I had to take. I took a soma and Tylenol, and I had done a breathing treatment earlier, and <laughs> I sacked out. I start. We started watching the movie movie Split, and. I guess it was, must have been a good movie. I fell asleep, <laughs> and I slept through most of it. So that's pretty much been my day. I haven't really done a lot. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I have, but I mean, I haven't. Oh, I don't know. I'm just really not with it. It wore me out. We got things done today, but it wore me out because my days and nights are so turned around, it's not even funny. But I'm going to say tomorrow is another day. <laughs> Maybe I'll make more sense. I'll be a little better prepared, I hope. But I hope people, you will, I hope you guys will discuss and go back and comment on yesterday's. And let's get a dialogue going here. Because this stuff, you know, I mean, whether you are the person with the chronic illness, whether that's arthritis that is is getting more pronounced and people don't see your pain they might see that you're in pain by the way you're acting but it's it's more in, it's more invisible the same as like uh, veterans who have um, PTSD and being one, not a veteran, but a person who's had PTSD, it's invisible uh, to most people. I mean, you're not going to see it. Doesn't mean it's not there. So, I'm, I'm back and forth today and all over Jupiter. And that's a big planet. Hello. <laughs> I will sort this out in the editing, I hope, to some extent. Because I am just jumping all over the place. Old 
Mother Drubbard went to her cabubbard to get her to dog a bone. But when the she got it there, the cabubba bird was bare. And so the bubba bee bee had none. That's how I feel like I'm talking. Which is not uncommon for me to do, but it's not great for these vlogs. So, oh my Lord, have a thought for the poor, confused person in your life, or just for me. <coughs> Doesn't know what to say or to, whose mind is, whose mind is just blown. I mean, you know, we go things like boing or bling, and that's about how it is. I mean, it's all kind of mixed up in there. Golly, what a day. <laughs> ay, yay, ay. <music> Carla came up with a great idea today. I hope she shares it in the comments. Um, and it, it, she, well, I'll let her share who she got the idea from, too. And I just thought, oh, what a great idea. You know, and there's always something, I mean, this is something she was saying she might do and she'd like to do. And it's a, it's a paying forward kind of thing or, a, you know, random act of kindness kind of deal. But we can all do that. We can all do a random act of kindness, you know, even if it's just to wave at somebody going by. Here in, here in the, in farm country in the Midwest, I mean, it's nothing to see somebody be driving by and just do this, you know, or even just lift the two fingers off the steering wheel, you know, it's, you know, or even just do the head nod. I mean, that's just the way it is here. That's, you know, in the South, there's other things people do. But, you know, if you don't, you just do. Even if you're passing someone on the street, you tend to, you know, I mean, a lot of people will here more than, some people, I don't know, some people will say that they see it more here. I, I grew up here, I've lived here. But that um, people are just friendly and they, they'll give you a smile and they don't even know you. And that surprises some people, don't surprise me a bit. That's just the way it should be, so. Oh golly, I'm having a lot edited out of this. I love you, I care. For you and tomorrow is another day and hasta mañana <laughs>